Hello everyone, it's Sushi Robo here, and this is the final and the first Sushi Robo's Loot Live. I figured I would uh, make the final Sushi Robo's Loot Live. I'll post it on the YouTube if I can. But this one is live, and this is the final Sushi Robo's Loot. It is the month of September. That means it's the robotic theme. And what better theme to go out on than robotic? Because I'm Sushi Robo. So, like always, I'm going to flick this bad boy open. Uh, rotate the camera out. There's the loot crate. But, yeah, this is the final Sushi Robo's loot that I'll be doing. And, unfortunately, there will be no more after this. And the uh, reason why is because I want to replace this show with some better content. Uh, it's not the most popular show, so I figured I would replace it with some better content. So, give me any ideas of what you'd like to see on Sushi Robo Go. So, let's open this bad boy up. Alright, so, the robotic theme is the theme. Alright, oh, looks like we can turn this into a cereal box. I might just do that before I sign off. So, let's do it like we always do. Looks like a Blade Runner t-shirt in here. Looks like it glows in the dark, so let's talk. Uh, let's check it out. I've only seen Blade Runner a couple times. That's pretty cool. So here it is, a Wallace Corporation T-shirt from Blade Runner, from Lootware. Looks like it is a uh, 100% cotton. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Well, it look, looks like it could glow in the dark. We might test that out, you know. So. Let's test that out later. All right. Next up is it looks like a little book. Oh no! Well, that's pretty sweet. So it is a uh, R2D2 wood model. You can put it together. Look at that. You can build it yourself. That's pretty cool. From Star Wars, of course. We all know who R2 is. Put that over here. All right. Next up. Ooh. Looks like we got a loot pen. What is it? I hope it's something awesome. Oh, it is awesome. It is the loot pin. It's a little robot. Got a lot of color in him. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Got a cog, gauge, meter, and it has a loot crate symbol right here. That's awesome. Okay, okay, we're we're getting places. Oh, there's a promotional. Uh, looks like we got a Star Trek. Yep, Star Trek uh, Next Generation comic book mirror broken origin of data oh data uh brett spiner i believe was in town just recently for rose city comic con but i don't know if he was or wasn't but yeah that's a pretty freaking cool i like that and finally we're gonna check this little bit oh my phone went off it's a little figurine. Queen takes Bishop. Now, Bishop's one of my favorite characters in the, uh, you know, Aliens franchise. Only because he's a robot. So, of course, it would go with a robot theme. So, let's just open it up. I'm going to use my teeth. Watch out. And so many pieces. Ah, <sighs> I was going to do a full video, but I'm just so tired. I've been having issues with my editing software today to get my 25-minute uh, Sushi Robo plays out. The reason why it's 25 minutes because it's just 25 minutes of straight me, pretty much slowly declining into a fit of rage. Let's put this little bastard together. Come on, Bishop, Bishop, come from your your clear plastic grave. Oh, look, it's a little bit Oh, he's got nice hair. Look at that hair. It's kind of like my hair. Mine's better. I got a part. All right, so let's put her together. All right, so this is their headless torso. Where's her head? Ah, there's her head. It's her head. So let's just put her head to the body. Ugh. This is probably just like not even entertaining right now watching the camera. Flail, flail around wildly. All right, so we're gonna just.
get on there. I'm sorry if there's anyone watching and getting bored by this. But, you know, watching me fight a fucking figurine is pissing me off, too. A oh, little connection for him's all butt fucked. Your little buddy. And there it is. Da, 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 da. Queen fucks up Bishop, I think is what it's called. Yep. Fuck it. Alright, so yeah. That was a pretty cool uh, loot crate. Good one to end out on. Um, not too many items in this one. Unfortunately, it was a little sparse, but my favorite item's got to be a little bishop figurine. As I was saying, my favorite item's got either the bishop figurine or the loot pin. I think the loot pin is actually uh, my favorite item. That's uh, kind of odd that a loot pin beats uh, actual items, but hey, that's pretty cool. But yeah, that was the final Sushi Robo's loot. Live for you guys, it was the robotic theme. Uh, this crate definitely did not beat Origins. Origins... Throughout the entire series that I have done Sushi Robo's loot for the last, about well, over a whole year, um, I would have to say Origins was the best crate. Had a good amount of stuff, had everything that was very well um, relatable. I kept everything in that crate as opposed to most items that I get in loot crates I usually get rid of. So, this was a good crate. Anyways, um, get ready for... PRGE. It's coming up in a few weeks. I'll be there. I'll be hanging out with Russ Lyman, uh, John Riggs, and Nico the Wee Guy. Guys, I have been on my channel before. You'll see me with them. And guys, I have not been on my channel before as collaborations. They're, they're much better, uh, you know, uh, YouTubers than myself, including guys like Russ Lyman, definitely John Riggs, and uh, Nico the Wee Guy. They all out-sub me because they've got better content than me. In my opinion, they got good personality. But that'll one day change. Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this final Sushi Robo's loot. Please leave me a comment, give me a message on Facebook or Twitter, and let me know what would you like to see take Sushi Robo's place or Sushi Robo's loot's place in my lineup. Maybe you don't want to see anything. Maybe you just want to see better content from me. But we'll see what happens. I hope you enjoyed it, though, and I'll see you guys later.